Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today is a part 2 about a lecture of chemical vapor deposition or cvt and in this particular lecture we have discussed the synthesis of carbon nanotubes by cvt method A carbon nanotube is a tube shaped material made of carbon having a diameter measuring on the nanometer scale. So in this diagram there are two types of uh, carbon nanotubes drawn here and the first type is called as single walled carbon nanotube whereas the second type is called as multi walled carbon nanotube or MWCNT. So in this particular lecture we will discuss how these carbon nanotubes are actually synthesized by chemical vapor deposition method Actually there are various techniques for producing both single wall and multi wall carbon nanotubes and all of them have their advantages and disadvantages So generally they can be classified into two types depending upon whether they require high or medium temperatures So the methods uh, involve are laser ablation arc discharge and chemical vapor deposition so uh, we will discuss only in this lecture the chemical vapor deposition method of synthesis so chemical vapor deposition of hydrocarbons over a metal catalyst is classified as a method which has been used to produce various materials of carbon such as carbon fibers and filaments for over 20 years it is a versatile method that can produce bulk amounts of defect free cnts at relatively low temperatures so in this process thermal decomposition of hydrocarbon vapor is achieved in the presence of metal catalyst hence it is also known as thermal cvd or catalytic cvd process So a typical setup for CVT for the synthesis of carbon nanotubes has been shown in this diagram. So a substrate material which is a green part as shown in this diagram it is made up of material like quartz or alumina. It is cleaned well in preparation for the catalyst deposition and is placed in a tubular furnace. A porous substrate generally is used and uh, it enhances the rate of carbon nanotube growth because of the large porous surface area a catalyst like iron or nickel is deposited on the surface of this green color substrate so here the blue dots are actually representing the catalyst so a catalyst like iron or nickel is deposited on the surface of a substrate through thermal evaporation the furnace is maintained at a temperature between 600 centigrade to 1200 centigrade so we are using both uh, sideways heating for this tubular uh, vessel so the temperature is around 600 to 1200 centigrade the process involves passing a hydrocarbon vapor now here we are seen here that uh, this hydrocarbon gas is acting as a precursor and uh, this hydrocarbon vapor may be acetylene ethylene carbon monoxide etc so in case of liquid hydrocarbon like benzene alcohol the liquid is heated in a flask and an inert gas is pushed through it which in turn catches the uh hydrocarbons so the precursors may be of two types like they may be a gas or they may be a liquid uh, however if there is already a gas then we pump this gas along with some inert gas into the furnace however if there is some liquid then first it is heated in a flask and then inert gas is pushed through it which mix that liquid with it and then that is sent to the reaction chamber inside the uh, chemical vapor deposition uh, vessel there are some examples in which solid hydrocarbon is also used as a cnt precursor uh, and that solid is directly kept in low temperature zone of the reaction tube so the volatile material such as camphor naphthalene etc directly turn from solid to a vapor and perform cvd while passing over the catalyst 
kept in a high temperature zone so at these high temperatures carbon dissociates from these precursors and then this carbon is assembles uh, and diffuse into the catalyst the cnt's grow on the catalyst as shown here this is the growth of these cnt's and these are collected upon cooling the system to about room temperature so as we are seen here these are the cnt's which have been grown so there are now two mechanisms or paths by which the growth of cnt's takes place so first this uh, this way or mechanism is called as tip growth model and it is also called as top carbon diffusion so the decomposition of the carbon source on the exposed surface of the metal catalysts result in the formation of carbon species they dissolve on the surface of the catalyst and diffuse through the surface of this catalyst until they precipitate at the end of a catalyst to form this nanotube now the catalytic particle sites always remain stay on the top of the growing nanotube so now we are seeing here that this is the precursor it is getting adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst then it is passing through its surface and the growth of the carbon nanotube is at the uh, base of this catalyst now the new carbon atoms are joining together in this way a carbon nanotube is formed here like this whereas the catalyst remain on top of the uh, carbon nanotube the other way of growth of carbon nanotube is called as base growth model this is also called as bottom carbon diffusion in this method the catalyst stays on the substrate surface like this is the catalyst and it will remain stay attached here at the substrate the carbon species dissolve in the catalyst and diffuse through it until they precipitate on top of this metal particle and then further growth of these carbon nanotubes takes place on its surface and so in this way this method is called as base growth model or called as bottom carbon diffusion method formation of single wall carbon nanotube or multi wall carbon nanotube is governed by the size of this catalyst particle so if the particle size is in a few nanometer range then single wall carbon nanotube is formed but if the particle size is larger than uh, this nanometer range and if it is larger than multi wall carbon nanotubes are formed the other method used are arc discharge and laser ablation methods for synthesis of carbon nanotubes however cvd is a simple and economic technique for synthesizing cnt's at low temperature and ambient pressure in crystallinity arc and laser ablation methods are superior as compared to cvd however if we are talking about yield and purity then cvd beats all other methods uh, and in this technique we can also have a control over the structure architecture of the material synthesized so cvd is a versatile in the sense that it offers harnessing plenty of hydrocarbons in any state such as solid liquid or gas and enable the use of various substrates and allow cnt's growth in variety of forms such as powder thin or thick films aligned or entangled straight or coiled nanotubes or a desired architecture of a nanotube on predefined sites of patterned substrates it also offers better control on the growth parameters so these were the advantages of cnt's over other methods so this was all about today's lecture i hope you have well understood this lecture but still if you have any questions then you can make your comments and ask queries in the comment section i will respond to those queries as soon as possible okay thank you allah hafiz